Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in optical fiber communication series. In this tutorial, we'll talk about acceptance angle. Now, we already know that inside the core and the cladding, what happens? We send this ray of light at certain angle greater than critical angle so that it turns back into the core itself and does not go into the cladding. Now, in order for that to happen, there there needs to be one condition that needs to be met again because this light will eventually come from outside and outside there is air so there is one interface here also between air and core so we need to take care of that also and here what we need to do is we need to send this light in such a way that after bending, this ray of light should become greater than the critical angle. And this angle at the interface of air and core becomes acceptance angle. Now please understand the refractive index of air is let us say eta naught and the refractive index of core is eta 1 and that of cladding is eta 2. We know the condition that eta 1 is always greater than eta 2 right because we want it to come back but the refractive index of air is lesser than that of the core so it will move towards normal as i mentioned when we go from rarer to denser we will move towards normal so we are not uh, moving away from normal so we are going like this which is actually beneficial for us yeah, if you can understand right so at, at the boundary of air and core, we send the light in such a way that we want to facilitate it to be greater than that of the critical angle. And that could only happen if we send the light within this range because beyond this range it will be lesser than the critical angle and this is the acceptance cone so if you look at the definition it is the maximum angle to the fiber axis from air so this is the key point at which light ray may enter the fiber in order to get propagated using total internal reflection so to find the acceptance angle, what we need to do is, we need to apply Snell's law again. So here, at this interface, I'm using eta inside, eta one is equal to eta one. Let us say this is theta one, and this is theta two. This is theta one. We know that theta 2 is equivalent to pi by 2 minus 5. So I get eta naught sine of theta 1 is equal to eta 1 which is the refractive index of core sine of pi by 2 minus 5. So this is from the geometry. You can easily find that this angle is pi by 2 minus 5. So I can say eta naught sine of theta theta one is equal to eta one cos of phi and eta naught sine of theta one becomes equivalent to eta one one minus sine square phi. All right. Now for critical angle, we know that sine of pi c should be equivalent to eta 2 upon eta 1. This is discussed in the previous tutorial. So I say eta naught sine of theta 1 should be equivalent to eta 1, 1 minus eta 2 upon eta 1 square. Alright, 
now for air I consider eta naught to be equivalent to 1 so what I get here is sine of theta 1 is equivalent to eta 1 square minus eta 2 square this eta 1 will get cancelled and by the way this is nothing but acceptance angle because this is satisfying the condition for critical angle so my acceptance angle becomes equivalent to sine inverse of eta 1 square minus eta 2 square and by the way this quantity is numerical aperture so sine inverse of numerical aperture and numerical aperture also takes up the shape of this formula and also takes up the shape of this formula at times for that you can see the video on numerical aperture but the acceptance angle is nothing but sine inverse of numerical aperture if you know the numerical aperture you can find the acceptance angle and acceptance angle is the one so anything less than this acceptance angle is acceptable to us because if we send it less than acceptance angle it will be facilitating the critical angle so the first thing that you need to remember is the acceptance angle is made at the interface of air and core not at the air cladding so this is not the boundary that we are talking about because light goes from air into core and from core it needs to reflect back so we need to make sure that this incoming light is greater than critical angle and if it has to be greater than critical angle it has to be less than acceptance angle so that's about it for today's tutorial i hope you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up i'll see you around bye